Hi Capricorn, welcome to this Tower Love Reading. My name is Sophia. Welcome to this community. So I'm going to jump straight in. Let's see what's going on with you, with your connection. I'm going to pull out some advice from Source, from the Galactic Celestial Spirit, that kind of thing. And close it out with some answers from the Hidden Realm. Some, you know, what they would say to you, but they don't normally say. But, you know, what they would want to say, but they don't. All right, let's jump in. Three of Wands, Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands. Then I'll jump into the... So... You're pissed off with waiting for your person. You kind of know that they, like, have stepped up. So, for example, I'm not saying there's a third party. Normally there is, but I'm just giving this as an example. There's no third party in this reading, so I'm just going to make this clear. This is just an example. Say your person was with a third party. You know they've left the third party, right? So why are they coming towards you? That's this three of wands. So they've stepped up with something. They might have the third party might have been a job. So they've left that job, right? Got a new better job. It's like, so why aren't you with me? <laughs> three of wands. They are actually planning to move with you, but there's a course correction. <laughs> so let's see what that course correction is first. Uh, something about you two learning how to be single first. So you're not codependent, you're interdependent when they come towards you. Both because both these cards have the woods in it. You're in the woods. And the hermit is in the woods. And this one's in the woods. Woods is a tree, right? The trees, the rooted belief systems, right? And the tree is the hanged man, he's stuck on a tree. So you're stuck in this uncomfortability, but getting enlightenment that your person has moved. From a situation, but not coming towards you. Your person the same. It wants to come towards you, but is stuck in a rooted belief system or something. So you must be thinking, well, okay, so they've left a third party. Why aren't they with me? That might be what you need to work on. Like, well, maybe they want to be for themselves first. And your person is like, there's something that I don't know with your person. This could be individual. Something like, oh, you shouldn't just rush from one to the other. Or shouldn't just move in with the next person because of. Or something like that. Or because they could have just literally just left the situation. I don't know. But I know your situation here. Seven of Wands is about... This is different. You could have two options coming towards you. I'm always talking about twin flame and new twin flame, twin flame number one, number two, with both these people here. But this is about getting the strength to defend. Yeah, there's other people's interference, both of you. So the seven of wands is about um, standing and defending a situation to the death, seven of wands. So it's like about you having the strength to do that. So just because your person's not coming towards you now, still defend the twin flame situation and that's with your person just because he is thinking about coming towards you doesn't mean there's something with him i don't know let me go in deeper there's insecurities with your person to come towards you doesn't mean that he has to learn or she has to learn that doesn't mean that you're not interested but it's not helping if you're being cold because you're being cold to your person Oh, look, being cold, Queen of Swords, <laughs> Ten of Wands, Empress. Like I just said, you're being cold. The Queen of Swords is blatant. I was saying cold because the card is blue. Reminds me of cold, but then underneath is the Queen of Swords. I look at this row, then I go into that row. So Queen of Swords is you're being cold to your person because you feel left out in the cold. You think that they're being stubborn, they're not moving, so you're not moving. But you're lying to yourself like, oh, well, you don't want to be with them or you're going to cut them off or something like that. It's your twin flame. Stop kidding yourself. This is about accepting what it is, right? And then transmuting the negative of the situation, which is why you're here as a twin flame light worker in the first place. Because most people have shitty situations and then cover their heart 
for the new situation, new person, new job that comes in, instead of full-heartedly going into something that they love. What you're doing is the reverse, which is what not what your twin flame here, because I can't really see much twin flame cards. You know, well, here, but I don't feel it. So this is someone new, but there's a new wave. You could be the new wave that's coming in, or twin flames. So this is about understanding the journey, understanding that just because you went and done a few counselling sessions or you booked someone in, on YouTube to do inner healing doesn't mean it's done. The work isn't done because I feel like oh, I'm a spiritual master. I've done the inner work and all the healing. So I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm fully in mission. I'm doing what i got to do. Where's my person? But both these cards are looking and waiting for your three of ones is waiting. Look at you waiting for your person. I'm done, I'm all ready, right, I'm looking good, I'm ready, and it's like, no, you're stubborn, you're the one who don't know about mastery, mastery is always learning, mastery is continuation of learning, I learn so much of the people in mission who I collaborate with, that's the whole point of collaborating, you're just here, Jack Jones solo, could be connected with a Gemini, or you are Gemini, you have Gemini traits here, two-faced, that's how I feel, the person's worried about you being two faced. One minute you're fine, then you're not. Ten of Wands is they don't want to come from one burden to another, and how you are carrying on, it looks like a burden. You simply don't know the twin flame journey and what to do. Please book someone in the community with counselling and they can guide you through it. The programs are 100% money back guarantee. Don't buy it off me and it don't work. Come to me and I'll pay you. Right? All I would ask for is your image so I can read if you actually done the work. That's it, right? I've been up here four years. No one's complained about my programs. How blatant I am, how rude I am, you know, all these kind of stupidness, but not about the programs. Never. The Empress. So this is about you two defending to the T about loving yourself. Like, like I said, this a, this Queen of Swords is like, I've done the work, Sophia. You're standing up to, I've had someone book me 10 years, I've done counselling. I'm like, well, why are you still doing it? You're obviously, counselling wasn't great. You're defending to the T about, and there's something about your person may depend, def, defend their mother. You haven't done the correct counselling. I feel this is quite draining because of it's like a, it's, it's a feel from the energy of this is a, this horrible feeling of you love this person but there's so much drama. So much arguments, dramas, burdens, cutting off, waiting. It's overboard of the twin flame. That's what I feel. And this is because you're stuck in your head of one way of doing it. I said Gemini. Yep, yeah, you're two-faced. One minute you say you want to see them and you're like, no, I don't want to see you because you didn't reply to my text. Or no, because you haven't said you want to move in with me. Or no, you have, there's something like that with you. You do not, this person does not know the twin flame journey. And listening to someone, no doubt, they're saying something like, you put up your boundaries, right? That's what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, how's that working? You set your boundaries. That all that does is leave you being pissed off with your person waiting. You've booked someone here who's who, who, who you reckon you've done healing with 100%, right? And you're like, no, I've done that. I'm starting over on this twin plane journey. I'm like, no, you didn't do it. Well, it was a cheaper option, was it? Not even like the counselling here is is, is uh, expensive. Let's get some. Oh. Advice from the universe. Yeah, I feel it's draining. Like I said, it needs a new spark, a new start in a new passion of this. It's literally like, oh, it's my person. I want to get with my person. But I don't feel, I feel drained, to be honest. So it's like you haven't got that part, passion, that spark, but you know it's your person. 
you're doing it completely wrong it needs to be look nurturing you need to nurture yourself properly remove all that negativity you just went to someone who said i'll teach you how to self-love i know what work they've done i don't want to go into it it's outdated belief system of how to do um self-love no doubt right but this is about you have to nurture yourself the empress is here twice and nurturing your inner child the empress is about pregnancy birth how your family how you was brought up all of that you need to do is clarify twice uh three of pentacles collaborating with the right people like i said you book someone here who's told you bollocks i'll just be honest and you're like okay i'm ready now to start this journey and it's same shit because you're stuck in one way of doing it you're blindfolded to this journey when you're blindfolded you can't see which way to go so literally it's like you went and done some inner work right and then uh, and you're like okay i've done the inner child healing now let me carry on with the twin flame journey right because all twin flames say about doing inner work <laughs> that's this reading i'm like you know we teach you how to get onto your journey how to get with your person how to transmute the negative whilst you're going through this journey why you're going through this journey and get you into mission if you choose which you're supposed to make you a, a, a independent and a humanitarian we do it all we don't just like oh here's a section air section air right that's what this is this is moving forward as within so without like i said this ain't proper work the chariot is principal laws of cause and effect so this is draining because you were brought up in a draining situation this is someone here who's, who was brought up with a parent who you feel now obligated which you wouldn't say that you go around there for sunday lunches they're always calling you all the time you got to meet them and all this kind of thing and you had that from a child you might have been one of those pair children that looked after the parents now i'm not saying there was even any sort of disability mental health issues but not overboard with your family but there's something like that in this reading so you was looking after them the nurturer it's out here twice you ain't worked on any of that shit with the work that you've done with this other person you booked that's why this isn't working that's why you're pissed off of your person because you want someone to come and make you happy to live with you and it's not going to happen that's why you're here waiting 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 need to know yourself and your journey your twin flame journey because this is your person is you so they're mirroring there's something about yeah you want something about nurturing so they definitely nurture you when you're with your person you feel the line does one nurtured fully so that's the mirror of why you need to go back to nurture yourself. Alchemy. To manifest your pentacles, you have to take consistent action. Twin flames are meant to be in mission. Start or step up your twin flame mission program. Okay, so alchemy why are you what are you trying to manifest so you're trying to manifest your person towards you pentacles is a physical right but like i said this is is i'm getting gemini and gemini is known as two-faced that's the negative there's two, all all star signs of negative and positive this is a negative side of gemini and before you say fuck off sophia i'm not gemini we're all star signs as above so below principle law of cause effect not as above to sun moon rising venus right what about all the other billion planets let alone the multiverses of dimensions and the different entities as above so now or you have gemini and you don't even know it right within you your traits of gemini and it could be simply the moon is making you more of a gemini trait at the moment or that is how you are is as above so below we're all star signs that the 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 fool's journey goes through all the astrology star signs not just sun moon rising venus right my point so this is about you're trying to manifest your person but you have to take consistent action you're in and out right one like i said one minute you're doing it then you're not one minute you're doing it then you're not 
let's close it out with what your person really feels because i don't actually feel there's a connection really here at all it's just it's like this is my twin flame <laughs> that's it wow had to be had to be i get it i love you and i said wow i'm like yeah you wouldn't expect so from all this drama and draining and negativity but if this was a soulmate or someone you didn't feel that they loved you you would have fucked them off from time so you know 100 percent. now you got mr knight in shining armor ain't you knight of cups you melt with this person and it's pissing you off because you feel that so much. But you wasn't nurtured as a child. That's why you have someone who you feel love. You had no love as a child, right? Doesn't mean, like the Hollywood films, that you was left in the, in the basement, tied up for days on end, beaten and left without food. Nurturing, no nurturing to nurturing um i remember with my ex-husband we had uh, disagreements because his nurturing was school mine wasn't school fun right that's what i said i said if she come around here i ain't doing homework with her because i had a uh, that's when i before he stole her from me right um i said no i'm not doing homework i'm doing fun right i want to have fun with her i want to uh, she already if, if she can't study between nine and three then school's shit there's plenty of time for her to study. Which one is more nurturing? Your way of nurturing from your parents wasn't for you. We're all individual. It wasn't for you. I'm a twin sister. My mum should have treated us different. I hate seeing twins dressed the same. I'm like, we're different. We're individual. Although people still say me and my sister look the same. They're like, oh my gosh, you're twins. Come on now. <laughs> I find you so incredibly attractive and sexy, it's intense. They love you. They're deeply passionate about you. You know they feel a connection, but there's drama. I focus on money as I have nothing to offer you. Yeah, because there's you, giving it large, looking all shit hot. You're up there like, oh, I've got a good job, I'm doing very well, and da, da, da. That's nothing to do with this. Is, I repeat, please find out about the Twin Flame journey, right? everything's in the description box i've got everything what to do the programs the cost the counseling even about if you want to start humanitarian change the org, org website everything just scroll down you'll know where to go from looking at that speak to you later